I'm just doing another quick outfit of the day like I did, like I posted yesterday. Um, I've only been to work this morning, like just for my parents at the milkshake place. So I haven't dressed up particularly or anything like that. And it was really cold in there because um, it's like in the market, which is um, sort of underground. So it kind of gets pretty cold. So um, that's why I'm wearing my scarf. But I'll take this off for you. I'm not sure where I got this from. Um, no, it doesn't have a label on it. I think it was probably like Dorothy Perkins or somewhere like that. And it's just a grey scarf and it's got like little um, silver flecks in, which is kind of cute. Anyway, so then I've got on this um, big oversized denim shirt, which is a shirt that I picked up in the Topshop sale about two years ago. Um, I think it was about £12, like I vaguely remember. <laughs> I know it's very specific, but um, yeah, I want to say it was £12 which is good because it's a really thick denim shirt it's not just like it's not like a shirt that looks like it's denim it actually is a denim shirt because my sister's got a shirt that looks like denim and that's really cold it's better for the summertime um, and underneath I just have this Beatles t-shirt on um, which I got from the H&M sale very recently um, just a couple of days ago and I've actually been wearing this today with it done up here the shirt there. I thought the top was really good for um, where I work because we're, the milkshake place is called the Hippie Hippie Shape and it's kind of into um, like 60s style music and stuff like that and we have Beatles posters all over the place so I was like Beatles t-shirt yay! Um, yeah so I've been wearing that done up for today um, and then I've just got on this skirt which is like it's like a really tight bodycon skirt um, and it's from Billabong and I got this um, not last October, but the October before while I was in America on City Walk in the Universal Studios in Orlando. And it's my favourite skirt ever. I wear it all the time. It's my pulling skirt. If I had to, if I had to pick a skirt that was a pulling skirt, this is the skirt. Um, and it's really comfortable. The only problem is that it's kind of starting to bobble and stuff like that. And I wish I'd bought two of them now because I never knew that I would like it so much. But yeah, so that's my outfit. And then I've just got a pair of standard black tights, pretty boring, nothing exciting there. And I have my boots on that aren't the same boots as the little booties that I often wear. These are like a different pair, they're like a black pair with just a peel about and this big. So they're a lot more comfortable than the others. And then obviously, oh it's just so bad, I need to stop wearing this necklace so often. But there it is, you know you, you love it. It's, love it almost as much as I do but seriously I don't even know why I wear it so much because I, it's not like I don't have other options I really do it's just this is kind of this is like my security blanket this necklace um I love wearing it and then I've put my hair in a donut ring again because it's just easy and like fuss free um although like I say I have been out at work all day so my hair's like all coming out here and like all here and it's just everywhere um and then as for my face I'm not sure if you can see um because the lighting in this room really isn't so great i would like to get some like really proper good video lighting but it's quite an investment at the moment to make um and considering i'm got other things to spend money on which i may film a video about soon um but yeah because i've got other things to spend money on i don't think that it would make sense for me to spend money on that i don't know maybe i will i'll have to think about it but anyway so as for my face if you can see, let me try and okay there. Um, today I've used some samples which I was sent by um, Lumiere, and they're a mineral makeup brand, and I really like the samples. I've never used mineral makeup before, and I was a bit apprehensive because some people say it's very, very bare, like, well, hence bare minerals, bare essentials, um, hence the name, but I actually really like it. I mean, I've put it on over the top of my Garnier BB cream, so I've used their foundation um, powder, mineral powder thing, and then I also use their fa their um, mineral blush, which is really nice. It's like a blushing bronzer, it's called, um, and it gives a really nice colour. Although you may not be able to see it to its full effect right now, I may film a tutorial um, using those products soon, and I will. I promise I will use a room that has better lighting, perhaps my bathroom. There's often very good lighting in there. Um, but yeah, so Lumiere so far, like, you're doing really well, I'm a big fan, and I, I think that I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this brand. 
As for the rest of my face, I've done my eyebrows as usual with Benefit's browsings, but I've used up all of the wax now, so I'm just on the powder, the um, eyeshadow powder. And also, my eyebrows really badly need doing, so I got them threaded a few weeks back um, when I was in Milton Keynes, and I'm obsessed with threading now. I will never pluck my eyebrows ever again, I think that's a lie, but still, like, I'm really obsessed with threading, it's great. And so I need to, that's one thing I do need to invest in. As for my eyes, I actually haven't, don't have any eyeshadow on today. I just have my um, Barry M bronze, bronzy brownie coloured liquid liner in a little flick. I'm not sure if you can see that. Can you see now, maybe? Um, and I really like it. I'm really bad usually at like flicking my eyeliner, like it makes a mess and I used to be terrible at liquid liner. But I think I'm getting better at it. I can't even see my own eyes, like, oh, that's annoying. Then as for my lips, I'm just wearing a Revlon Just Bitten um, lip stain, which I actually did a review on quite a while ago, and I didn't really like the lip stains at the time. Um, the felt tip type style applicators didn't really work for me um, in comparison to Benetint, for example, Posy Tint by Benefit where they have a kind of almost like a nail varnish applicator and I really liked that. However, I have since um, used the Revlon Just Bitten and I'm kind of, I'm coming around to understanding it a bit more now. Um, there is definitely like a certain way that you have to wear it and I think now that I understand it a bit better I'm coming around to wearing it in the way that you're supposed to wear it which is good. And I'm not sure exactly what shade it is. Um, but again, perhaps I'll include that in the um, Lumiere tutorial. So keep an eye out for that. And then also, um, as I mentioned in my video that I uploaded yesterday, um, I am going to be posting a haul soon of all my sale items that I've purchased recently and also a giveaway video. So you definitely want to keep an eye out for that because there's all kinds of goodies. I'll quickly show you the bag, give a, bit, a quick flash of it. So there and it's full of um, Barry M and Model Zone goodies and I think there's perhaps a couple of other brands in there as well um, so yeah definitely keep an eye out for that hit subscribe up there um, and I will see you in my next video make sure you check out the links down below take care guys bye